Hi, I'm Alice Lee. I'm a holistic psychiatrist. Um, today I wanted to create a YouTube video on the secret go-to's that I use when I'm helping patients withdraw from their antidepressant. Uh, in particular, uh, the antidepressants that I'm going to be uh, talking about are the SSRIs, which are the most common antidepressants out there on the market. And SSRI stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor, and they include medications like Prozac, Zoloft, Paxil, and Celexa. Those are the most commonly uh, prescribed SSRIs. And when you've been on an SSRI after a few weeks, just even after three weeks, um, your, your serotonin storage levels are quite significantly reduced. Um, and so after you've been on an SSRI, usually for a year or more, it requires some thought to safely come off of these SSRIs. What I would caution patients against is just trying to lower it slowly and not uh, take any nutritional supports while they're withdrawing from an SSRI. I think that that usually leads to um, a lot more depression and anxiety than they anticipate they would experience, just simply because the storage levels of serotonin can plummet after just three weeks of using an SSRI. So before you lower an SSRI, it's really important for you to build up those storage levels of serotonin. I know that um, in general, the medical field or medical doctors do not recommend people taking any supplement that would increase serotonin if they're taking an SSRI. Um, I would not recommend that either if you're planning to take um, the serotonin support nutritionally and an SSRI uh, together forever. Um, but the purpose of adding a serotonin support, that's a nutritional serotonin support, is because we want to help you gradually lower the medication in time. So that's the only reason why that would make sense. A good supplement for building uh, serotonin that I've used uh, is called Seroplus. It's S-E-R-O-P-L-U-S. It's by Pure Encapsulations. Um, Sonesco also creates very good serotonin support um, supplements. Um, but there are many different companies out there that create supplements where 5-HTP uh, is associated with other vitamins and minerals that support the creation of serotonin. So you can start taking that, you know, one capsule at bedtime with about 50 milligrams of 5-HTP in there. And then after about four days, go up to two capsules, which would be about 100 milligrams of 5-HTP. And that plus the cofactors and vitamins and, and minerals can help the body to start to make more serotonin. But beyond that, I think it's very important for my patients to support their foundational well-being. So the foundational well-being includes things like vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, amino acids, GI support, antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, and detoxification. Usually the first things that I would want to uh, support is the GI system, vitamins, and minerals. And um, I'll just throw out a few supplements that I really like when it comes to vitamin and mineral support. Uh, there is a, a company called Brainchild. Uh, they make uh, liquid um, brainchild vitamin, a multivitamin, and a brainchild liquid multimineral. So that's a really good one. Another uh, company is by Eniva. Eniva is E-N-I-V-A. Eniva.com. They make a terrific liquid um, uh, mineral supplement. And you could um, add a little bit of zinc with that because they do have a little bit of copper. Most of my patients have high copper, low zinc. So you can add a little additional um, zinc with that liquid mineral. Uh, and Eva also has uh, liquids, uh, vitamins as well that you can use. But usually in terms of the liquid, highly absorbable vitamins, I might turn to um, a company like Desbio, D-S-B-I-O. It stands for Deseret Biologicals. And they, 
make a wonderful liposomal um, vitamin uh, support called Restore. Um, and so I might use Restore with a liquid mineral from Amoeba and pair that together. In terms of probiotics or for the GI support, I will use a probiotic like uh, Perk Digestigard Forte 10. It's by a company called Perk. Uh, it's P-E-R-Q-U-E. And so it's Perk Digestigard Forte 10. It's a probiotic and I, usually most people need to take about one capsule twice a day of that. Um, in terms of the uh, essential fatty acids, I tend to wait on that because usually a person needs to have good mineral levels before they can really handle essential fatty acids. But I will often give uh, patients uh, antioxidants. So they can use antioxidants in their smoothies, they can use uh, uh, an antioxidant in the form of an essential oil. Um, the company I like best is Young Living, and Young Living makes a lot of essential oils. I like to use usually lavender and peace and calming by Young Living because they're very calming and then they also have a lot of antioxidant support. So antioxidants, in terms of detoxification, um, I try to hold off on detoxification also for a while initially just because uh, anytime you're clearing out toxins, it can be a little bit stressful for the body. So vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, amino acids would be the Cero Plus, amino acids, uh, GI support would be the probiotics, antioxidants could be the essential oils or smoothie, and uh, detoxification we can hold off until a little later in the treatment. So you can start all of these and then I also like to start my patients off with some energy medicine techniques. Um, on my website, if you go on the tab called information and you look under that tab, there is a section called energy medicine techniques. If you go there, there are two techniques that I go to a lot of times for support. One is called uh, EET and it stands for Empower Energy Technique. It's a very simple um, statement using intention connection with life energy and a statement about whatever in um, intervention or change you want. It can be very powerful for healing. And then the, the second one that I use often is called Logosynthesis. And Logosynthesis is also presented on my website. It's actually a little harder to do because it's three sentences, but it's a problem-oriented uh, energy medicine technique where you state the problem. The first problem that I typically work with on my almost, almost all my patients is deserving to be well. Um, I feel like if you, on a subconscious level, um, are not solid with feeling deserving of being well, and most people aren't when they first come in, not at the subconscious level anyways, um, that it's a little bit like planting palm trees on an island drifting to, towards the Antarctic. So before I do a lot of work with a patient, I will try to make sure that they've done the energy work on clearing any blockages to deserving to be well. Just for an example, for EET, the statement goes, I now choose to align myself with life energy and be empowered to blank. And so if you're working on the problem of deserving to be well, you will say something like this, I now choose to align myself with life energy and be empowered to completely heal and clear any difficulties or blockages that I may have to deserve to be well. And with Logosynthesis, with the three sentences, the problem you will stick into the blank in their um, sentences is my difficulty with feeling deserving of being well. So I would do each of those techniques at least twice um, to clear any blockages with deservingness. And then also, I tell my patients, please do the energy breaths twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, and the recording for energy breaths is also um, on my website. So I'm going to conclude here that um, over time, uh, most people can start lowering their um, SSRI within about a week to two weeks, and usually lower it by about 10% each time. You can use a compounding pharmacist or you can just slowly take 
certain amounts off, either through a liquid version of the medication. Uh, sometimes I tell patients to use a clean nail file that kind of files down the medication slowly over time. And uh, when it comes to an SSRI, if you're on too much of it, you might notice your stomach is gurgling, you might have vivid dreams. And so if you're having those symptoms, it's time to lower a little bit of your SSRI. Um, obviously, if you're getting more depressed or anxious, if you're having difficulty with sleep, if you're having problems with slow, slowing down of your GI system, that means you've lowered it too fast and you may need to go up on the dosage a little bit. Um, and now here is my bonus tip for those people who um, watched it to the very end. And that is this. For there, there are some people who, um, by the time they are lowering their SSRIs, notice that when they lower the medication, they might feel better for a while, but then they might have increased anxiety. Or, and at the same time, when they use their medication, it can cause anxiety. The understanding about why that happens is that um, over time your immune system can become hypersensitized to the medication and sometimes to your own neurotransmitters. So in order to overcome that, you will need to use the energy medicine techniques. Uh, you can try the logosynthesis uh, on your hypersensitivity reaction to your medication, to your own neurotransmitters, and your neurotransmitter receptors. And continue to do that maybe over a week, a couple of times a day for a week, so that your body will start to uh, be able to maximize the benefits from the medication and not have a bad reaction either to the medication or to your own neurotransmitters. Um, when you have a hypersensitivity reaction to these medications, it can be very frustrating because the medication can cause you to feel worse, but when you lower the medication, you feel worse as well. So that's where the energy medicine is very important for clearing your hypersensitivity reaction that has developed over time uh, to the medication. Well, I hope that this has been helpful for you. Um, one thing uh, I want to add is it's generally not very helpful just to lower SSRIs without any kind of nutritional or energy medicine support. Uh, most people might even be able to, well, some people might be able to handle it um, all the way through where they are able to lower it slowly and be able to stop their medication, but then three months later they might get sick and get very anxious and have insomnia and not even realize that they are struggling with withdrawal from the SSRI that they had stopped taking three months before. I've seen that a number of times and uh, want people to avoid that kind of uh, crisis that can suddenly uh, come up after they've stopped their medication. All right, I hope that you will subscribe to my newsletter and to my YouTube. I am going to um, be uh, creating these YouTube videos once a week and um, hope that they can benefit you in your quest for true health and freedom and I look forward to talking with you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.